Thank you. We're not going to let a little drop or two hurt us. I don't think it's going to do much to you. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, priceless instruments. It's not going to hurt you. <laughs> <coughs> Actually, we're very good character takers of those. Anyway, we're now into the 1840s, ladies and gentlemen, edging the 1850s, if you will. As Mr. McFerrin talked about this evolutionary process of valved instruments are truly now in control, giving you grand capabilities, even beyond the wonderful things that they did with key brass. These bands of Boston, Philadelphia, New York, Pittsburgh, all of them gaining great associations with the militia. In New York especially, and Philadelphia, and Boston, if you were in certain militias, there was a reason. It was because you were asked. You didn't just simply go up and say, you know, I'd like to be part of that militia regiment. No. They were social clubs of the highest order, many of them. Many of them very wealthy. Several of them being brought on by the great veterans of the Mexican War. In New York, there would be the 7th Regiment, one of the most famous state New York militias. Across the way in New York would be the 8th New York, and especially the companies of Washington Grays. It was very common in this time period for composers to write specific music in dedication of regiments and companies of men. This one is, to me, one of the best of the best. It is written by the most prolific composer of band music in the 19th century, Claudio Grafula, for those of you that still play music. You may even still play an arrangement of this today. This one is in a pure 19th century form, and it is called the Washington Grays. I think you will notice immediately where we're now coming, and the capabilities of bands. And anybody in my mind, ladies and gentlemen, that would have had a piece of music like this written for them must have been a group of people of the absolute highest order. I don't need to say anything else. Let's let the music speak for itself. Now get the true sense of the military. Ladies and gentlemen, Claudio Grafula's Washington Grace. <laughs> 